ಒಂದು ಕೊಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ Good morning, sir. Do we start? Yeah, sure, ma'am. Okay. Well, with a new day comes new strength and new thoughts, said Eleanor Roosevelt. Good morning, everyone. It's my pleasure to welcome all of you to a webinar on knowledge empowerment using sentential grammar tool conducted by the Department of Library, Cook Institute of Technology. And the resource person for today is Mr. Satish Hegde. Head of GrowthNet Analytics Technologies, Private Limited, Bengaluru. I now request our respected principal, Dr. Baswaraj M, to welcome everyone. Good morning to all. It's a great pleasure and honor to welcome the today's speaker for this webinar. It's knowledge empowerment using a Centenia grammar tool. Mr. Satish Hegde, the head of the growth net analysis, a technology private limited Bangalore. And Mr. Kumar, the librarian and convener of this program, Professor Kavishri, the coordinator of this program, my dear colleagues and my dear student friends. So I'm extremely happy to inform you that the CIT is conducting a, this webinar on knowledge empowerment using a Centenium, a grammar tool. We know that any language is the most is a method of an, a human communication, either spoken or written, consists of using the words in the a structured or conventional ways. And this communication should be a proper and effective, so that the receiver should be happy and comfortable with our communication. As you know that there are many types of communication, but the written communications plays a very important role because the content of the matter is not direct contact within each other. Of course, you know that nowadays, uh, several tools have been used for every language, for, especially for um, English language. And we are using in almost all the fields of um, a communication. Therefore, make use of this grammar tool for a precise and effective communication. I hope this tool will be definitely helpful to the faculties for writing their technical papers. Therefore, I appeal all the students and the staff members to take part in this webinar for an effective use of this tool for a better communication. Finally, I thank all the resource person. I, I thank the, the resource person, mm -hmm. Mr. Hegede, for accepting our invitation, and Mr. Kumar, the librarian, Professor Kaveshri, okay, and all other faculty members to take part in this uh, program and make the, this part very uh, a successful one. Thanks to one and all. Thank you. Thank you, sir. The heights of great men reached and kept were not attained by sudden flight, but they, while their companions slept, were toiling upward in the night. We are happy to have with us today an eminent personality, Mr. Satish Hegde, currently the head of growth net analytics technologies, Private Limited, Bengaluru. I take this occasion to introduce our resource person before you all. 
He graduated in agriculture operations and related sciences from the University of Agricultural Science, Dharwar. He then did his post graduation in public policy and management from IIM Bengaluru. He has held several respectable positions till date. He was the operation head Karnataka State Road Transport Cooperation. He then became the vice president of business development education training customer success. His responsibilities include digital marketing strategy, managing partner-based marketing opportunities, building robust inbound content marketing, institutional sales, educational institutions, and cooperates. His achievement includes successfully implemented skill development program in Andhra Pradesh. He successfully implemented skill development program in 33 colleges in Kerala achieved 23,000 numbers on the NSDC star program, worked with 40 colleges in Karnataka and implemented skill development program, led major educational tech projects in Government of Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Orissa, and Jammu Kashmir, implemented education tech project in distance learning with IIMB and Government of Karnataka in 1,000 schools, implemented projects with international development agencies like the World Bank, ADB, and UNDP in SaaS-based solution. This speaks volumes of our resource person. And now about the Sententia Grammar Tool. This is a formal writing assistant for students and professionals, a one-stop solution for all English language needs and for all types of users. It caters to the grammatical, syntactic, and semantic demands of using the language and is designed to help students, especially grade one to 12, college students, postgraduate students, writers, journalists, casual users, lifelong learners, and for all ages of all communities across the globe. And now over to you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much for a you know, fabulous introduction. <laughs> I'm not that great man, anyway. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, so first of all, you know, I would like to thank uh, uh, principal sir and uh, of course uh, librarian sir, as well as management of uh, Kurginist of uh, Technology for giving me an opportunity to you know have an interaction with you. So I am repeating having a, an interaction with you. Uh, so I have already given a detailed uh, uh, about me. Okay, uh, how are you? Uh, uh, are we working in? Uh, oh. Excuse me, you are not audible to us. Hello, sir. You're not audible, sir. Sir, uh, unmute yourself, sir. No, it's not. It's not happening. Yes, 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 yes. Now it's audible. It's it is. It is audible now. Yes, sir. Okay. Sorry. I think uh, still it is showing red color. Anyway, uh, so. Uh, of course, Madam has already given uh, uh, you know a detailed introduction. So I've been working in, uh, in India and uh, uh, of course in Africa and uh, worked a couple of years in Europe as well. Uh, so with that introduction about me, so today we are going to you know have a detailed uh, uh, presentation on uh, empowering people. So I completely understand that you know, uh, this audience is basically engineering students. Okay, so the question is, you know, uh, uh, what is what is there for me, right? Is it not for a, 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 when we attend a, or a, 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 we spend some time? So what how would you give value to uh, me? Is it not? So uh, to answer the question. Uh, in 
and of course today we have teachers right so how it is going to be helpful for the teachers what to of sketch academy how it is helpful for the teachers as well as for the students and of course if at all you want to uh, have a question and answer uh, about 15 minutes okay so uh, we are so basically you know uh, we are a data technology company working in with global clients uh so what we do is you know we work in uh, ai machine learning and nlp language processing and uh, big data so we have our clients in us we have an office in uh, australia and uh, we are open in australia so that is that is you know part of analytics technology so analytics developed sentence so what is this sentence so i think uh, you know i would like the attention of uh, computer science and uh, elements uh, uh, ens students uh, basically you know, this is a ai supported english grammar system by 400000 students in more than 300 educational institutes across the globe okay so the question is you know let us understand why we developed this so i am uh, basically from uh, a remote village uh, of Sri Lanka, and you know, struggling hard in in industry uh, to establish myself and uh, my career. So English was, of course, the major uh, major challenge. Uh, uh, you know, when when I had uh, uh, entered the industry. So so what we thought is. Uh, you know why should not we we come up with a solution technology solution which can help the students or the professionals not only the students i mean i i'll come to that point later uh, or the uh, professionals to write better okay so uh, especially engineering students so this is a nlp based technology solution and you know to build this many of the vit students i mean uh, sorry vtu students uh, they might be from rv or uh, msrit or uh, you know from suratkal engineering so uh, they literally joined hands with us and you know the, many of us uh, many of them are working with us to build this too okay so you please google about i i i hope you know you are already aware about na natural language processing which is really really picking and uh, i am i am damn sure that you know you are already learning artificial intelligence and machine learning okay so uh, this is you know this is the reason why we started building this and uh, uh, in the first year we could uh, we could you know uh, get good traction so i mean to say that you know people were attracted and started using it and in a span of 3 or 4 years we could get 400000 uh, students or professionals i mean even professionals i mean even professionals uh, the employees uh, who work in the in the corporates they also uh, they they don't really uh, focus a lot and uh, you now write better okay so that means see if we can do it definitely you can do it is it not i am i am talking to engineering students so if we can build you know of course with the help of the students i mean it is nothing you know it is not that i build it it's not i am not built i have not built it is basically the students uh, many of the bright students from the colleges like us have you know contributed a lot to build it okay so we have only given the ecosystem that's it okay i think something about satish i don't think you know that is very very important you already know ah uh, what is the takeaway 
why why you should you know why the student should uh, today discuss and have a look at this uh, technology tool because two things one is you know uh, especially for uh, uh, professors teachers as well as for the students how modern technology is changing the way we write and learn okay i mean there are lot of changes happening okay even if, if you really see the research is done by uh, stanford uh, you will you will see lot of you know uh, new technologies which are really really changing the way we are communicating i think you are already aware i hope you are already aware about you know ai in voice voice technology voice to text is is tremendously changing i think we should have a, another seminar for that uh, to talk about that Uh, how sentencia is trying to help the people to learn english and how it can be useful for the students and teacher uh, students this is pretty pretty important because uh, let us assume that you know after completion of your be you are going to join my company sir, sorry, let us sir sorry Hello? sir sorry to yeah one minute break sir so uh, one minute break sir uh, stop sharing uh, share your screen need to okay i stopped it and also the uh, there is a problem with your audio okay it's in uh, there is a, uh, your voice is breaking sir oh uh, really yes sometimes sometimes in between sir i mean now uh, remove noise i'm not even using crisp anyway uh just give me a second i should be having a mic just give me a second i'll i'll bring a mic just give me a second Is it working now? Ah yes, sir. Now you can hear. Uh, you. you can you can hear me now? Yes, sir. It's clear now. Okay. So can I share my screen? Yes, sir. Sure. Okay. Okay. I think a uh, lot of technical hiccups. Anyway. uh so coming back the why the students should li really listen today so let us really understand so uh, what i was telling is that you know uh, let us assume that you know the final year students okay or post graduation pg students they are going to come and join my organization in the coming year okay uh see i i uh, expect or the management or the company expect that you know a minimum standard of quality when i say quality in terms of you know i'm i'm only talking about the communication okay what i expect is okay so you know pratyaksha join is going to join us uh, uh, as a engineer software engineer and if i you know ask her to uh, speak with my client and you know collect the uh, requirement then she should be able to 
you know clearly write a concept note or a clearly write a requirement details to me so that is the minimum standard of you know uh, expectation or if at all you know uh, some student who is going to join me uh, as an employee so he is expected to write a proper you know email to the uh, to the client okay or to the colleagues so definitely communication is is pretty important and uh, and you know how how this technology tool is going to be helpful for the teachers okay so uh, with this you know what i do is i am going to i am going to directly jump to the tool yeah can you see my screen now yes yes sir Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So this is a SaaS based solution. Uh, uh i think uh, you are aware that you know how to build a saas based solution so computer science students and uh, pc students uh, and even uh, i'm sure that you know there are mechanical students who are interested in software uh, so it, this is a software as a service so every student uh, is having a login id and password for this tool sentencia dot online okay so if you don't have you kindly uh, you know contact your uh, uh, respected uh, librarian sir and he will arrange for the demo login sorry login id and password okay so this is the landing page you can log in from your home uh, yeah only thing is i mean you have to have a laptop and a, and a internet uh, so so this is the landing page okay so this is the right function okay so for example if you are writing something if you are writing your research paper or if you are writing a project report or or uh, professors or teachers they are writing uh, you know any of the research papers for publications or for conferences anything i mean you can definitely use this this tool already uh, in fact your college is using this tool to correct the grammar text and style analysis okay uh you can upload as well i mean instead of writing you can upload uh, you can upload and you know really uh, check how you can uh, correct the mistakes with respect to grammar vocabulary and style here you can see grammar vocabulary and style so you can upload a txt file okay and then uh, you are okay of course nobody uses txt file uh, uh, even word file 99% of the users they upload uh, and check word file and uh, and of course uh, uh, latex file if at all you are writing any research paper and uh, of course pdf but uh pdf is is uh, a bit difficult to you know make the changes and keep the structure or framework of your written document okay so here uh, especially students here i'll i'm going to tell you one business opportunity or startup idea okay so so see if anybody anyone can come up with a ocr technology okay ocr technology which can scan and understand the handwriting of the students then that is going to be a huge big hit i mean this is going to be a startup idea because this is where you know we are we are thinking this is the next level of innovation we are we are trying to do okay so uh, uh, i can see you know almost uh, 100 students uh, today in in today's webinar probably you know i can tell some more ideas or you know some more Uh, ideas where we are trying to do some innovation or we are trying to build uh, you know technology solutions which you can also take up and try definitely so wherever we go so people usually in the school sector people say uh, whether you have a, a image analysis which can understand the handwriting of the students and can it give a grammar analysis see i can give grammar analysis vocabulary and style analysis but uh you know analyzing the hand handwriting 
uh, no i mean i'm still i'm still you know struggling to really innovate and uh, one israeli based company is doing it but their solution is also not uh, not to up to the mark so this is one of the challenge or this is one of the problem statement which uh, probably the students can really try and build your startup anyway so coming back okay so coming back i can upload my uh, you know i'll i'll show by uploading one document okay yeah great so uh, let us assume that you know i am a final year student of mechanical engineering from uh, you know core uh, uh, institute of technology panampet and i have written some documents research papers project reports and you know obviously you know we we may make couple of mistakes uh, uh in the written document so what it does is what it does is you know immediately it gives you the document quality here you can see 50% is the document quality right so uh 15 grammar mistakes are there four vocabulary mistakes are there and you know there are no style mistakes okay so what i request uh, what i request the uh, students is basically you know you should really google research on how this type of technology solutions can be built of course the one is usage definitely you know how it is beneficial for you how it can add value to your studies that is one part that is always there you have the login id you can really upload and that you can play around and that is one thing please think beyond please think beyond you should you know you, you you can make a detailed research because because this is one of the technology solution okay which is not there in south asia i'm talking about south asia you have grammarly in usa okay you have ginger in us and the third company is net analytics okay the third company is net analytics which has built this type of technology so definitely this is going to be interesting but i will leave it to you okay coming back coming back so uh, it will show you you know grammar errors it will show you style errors uh, it will show you vocabulary mistakes and it covers all the sub categories just imagine just imagine that you know in birnani there is a school i know you 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 might be aware of you know goni kapal and birnani so birnani there is a school and obviously in the schools you know getting a great teacher or uh, you know the teacher being the teacher staying with the student uh, you know day in and day out it is not possible just imagine whenever a student writes okay whenever an employee writes then and there itself on the real time basis if he or she can get the grammar analysis how great will be the communication is it not yeah coming back uh so what i do is you know i will click here uh, let me click you know disaster uh, i am from kannada medium not that great in uh, english okay so what it is telling me is that you know this is a major uh, uh, you know uh, major uh, uh, category and this is the sub category okay so so this is the sub category where it is showing the mistake and do not use object disaster with with expletive there when the object is so it is it is giving a suggestion you can see here and it is also giving a correct and incorrect examples okay so here you can see correct and incorrect examples as well let me go to you know another uh, example so here what we have done is you know we have given a button here so with the help of this i mean you can choose kannada if at all your native language is kannada or tamil or telugu or 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 you know the native languages of india Uh, we are adding spanish and uh, a couple of other uh, languages as well so this is i mean you can select by going here your native language you can select here so i have chosen hindi uh, as my uh, you know native language okay it also gives suggest suggestion in uh, native language so when i say suggestion this is basically the the grammar suggestion made by the platform okay uh, let me go to some other uh,
okay now here what there is one you know uh, send feedback button so if at all you know english is a very contextual language so in different context you use different terms different words right so uh, if you feel that you know in this particular context okay if you feel that this this uh, word is not very suitable then what you can do is you can give your feedback as well okay so let us go to yeah so what you can do is uh, you can make the auto correction students basically you know let us assume that you know you have written some uh, uh, articles or uh, uh, say thesis or project reports you can make the auto correction then and there itself you can make the auto corrections here you can go here and you can make the auto correction so let us assume i think bhavan kumar has raised the hand okay uh, uh let us assume that you know a uh, uh, engineering students he is writing a paper on artificial intelligence okay let us assume so see we have added lot of uh, uh, artificial intelligence related words or you know the dictionary related to uh, mechanical engineering okay in in the back end however sometimes i mean at the end of the day this is a machine right this is the machine sometimes what happens is you know the machine may not understand understand these words i mean artificial intelligent related or the domain specific words during that time what you can do is you know you can add this particular word in the dictionary so that it will not repeat let us assume that uh, there is a civil engineering student and he is writing something related to domain specific words and if at all you know the machine the machine shows that particular word as as a wrong word in this particular context you can add to your dictionary so that machine learns learns hey i mean satish is showing this particular word as as correct word or correct sentence so that you know i will not show this as an error so when i upload next time when i write that particular word uh, uh, a second time this machine will not show this as an error okay so now what you have done is you know you have written something you or you have uploaded and then you you really studied the you know the the mistakes and you have auto corrected now this is the time to submit your uh, thesis report or project report now what you can do is you know you can download the corrected document so no worries you are you are framework or your images or your you know so the the mathematics uh, you write in the paper or algorithms which you write on on your paper will not affect anything i mean the structure will be the same the machine will take care of only words and it will not touch any images or you know the tables or any algorithms or any any mathematics you know cron bar alpha etc it will not touch so that will remain remain the same the framework will remain remain the same and so you can submit it uh, uh, to your department okay now one more uh, uh, report is there so this is basically you know this is more for learning see as a as a uh, strategy okay as a strategy what we are doing is we are not positioning or we are not proposing ourselves as a productivity tool what you mean by productivity tool productivity tool is basically a tool which can help me to increase my productivity so in this context how it can help my writing abilities however what we are telling is this is not only you know productivity tool but this is a learning tool as well i'll show that okay so now what you can do is you can download all the documents students i mean you can you can you know this is important for you uh, what you can do is you know you can write upload and then you can download page wise you know mistakes so probably a student who is planning to uh you know uh, uh submit a paper for international conference or or seminar or for a publication in ieee paper or journal you can definitely use this okay now let us come back to very important metrics so this is one of the 
metrics, uh, readability index. I don't know whether you are aware of this or not. Uh, students may not be aware about this. So now, if you go to US, okay, it is a way. It's a it's a compulsion there. Uh, it's a compulsory that you know, uh, especially in the in the government departments or in the universities. Okay, everybody should use this. Even in the corporates, I mean, forget about universities. Uh, uh, even in the corporates, this is. Uh, see, if I am writing something, then the readability score should be seventy five percent. That is the minimum standard. Okay, so in India, I mean, this is slowly taking up because of this SEO, search engine optimization. You can Google it. Okay, you can Google it. I don't want to touch that. Uh, because of SEO, emergence of SEO and Google ranking, this readability is. you know it is really taking a pace and and you know people are giving lot of importance okay now the question is how it is useful for the students and teachers sir you are talking about corporates yes i mean for teachers and students how this is going to be useful let me explain to you now let us assume that you know a final year engineering student let us assume his name is aditya aditya wants to Uh, write a paper for a uh, international uh, seminar in iisc okay so the target audience is basically scientists fraternity uh, sorry faculty fraternity and and you know the learned people and the same paper he would like to present it to first year engineering students of you know kurg institute of technology pannam pet so there are two different scenarios the document is the same he would like to, i mean the stuff or the content is the same he would like to present it in two different scenarios now let us assume that you know let us come to so let us assume this is the this is the document which he has written so what it is telling readability grade level any ninth grade student or a to a person who has studied up to ninth grade can understand this document that is what it is telling okay so this so this is basically you know uh, uh dependent on okay one of the uh, great scientist i mean the work done by a great scientist named flesh kinkeer okay his name is flesh kinkeer so he was a great linguist uh, you know who had uh, really built this kinkeer uh, readability test okay so coming back coming back i'm coming back here so so okay aditya is presenting a paper okay this paper to uh, you know in a iisc seminar so do you think you know this particular document is really suited absolutely not what he has to do is he has to increase the readability grade level at least you know engineering plus or pg plus or to phd level let us see how he will do it so next scenario is that you know he is going to present the same paper same paper to the first year engineering students i mean they are freshers right i mean just completed pu and they they came to your college and and you know they would like to uh, uh, really listen what aditya is going to tell now the readability score has to be increased it has to be at least you know 80 to 85% so that A, a common person or you know a, a first year student can really understand how he can do that so by using more common words by using you know uh, 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 small word length or not using long sentences okay so beauty of this tool is that you know it can give you the readability score and readability grade level which is pretty important for the people who are very keen to publish their papers or especially or or uh, you know present their papers in the conferences or seminars so in this in these two contexts this is useful okay let me go back so i see sometimes what happens you know uh, engineering student has written some project report and he feels that his document is very uh, very important and he doesn't want to keep the document here so he can delete it so usually we work with you know various research organizations so in majority of the cases they don't want to keep the keep the documents on this tool so they can basically delete it okay so this is on the aws cloud 
pretty secure encrypted however you know if you don't want to keep you can delete it okay here you can choose your uh, uh, this is not very very contextual for engineering students you are also i mean i am i'm damn sure that you know you are pretty smart you need not to have uh, local language support okay so uh, let us come back here yeah uh, this is basically a, a, a learning curve okay you are librarian or your hod or your principal sir can really dig down and see i mean don't look at my uh, learning curve because you know day in and day out i talk with so many students or so sorry educational institutes or corporates basically i mean lot of corporates we we work with i mean this is very haphazard mainly because you know i i uh, uh, upload a lot of documents or write lot of documents but in your case basically if at all you want to practice you can practice so that it will give you a proper learning curve and now let us assume that you know couple of students from ponnam pet engineering college they are they want to prepare for competitive exams okay obviously there might be some so if at all you want to prepare for competitive exams definitely you know english is one of the one of the very important uh, subject i mean if it is ias ks or might be any any upsc engineering indian engineering service or you know uh, even bank probationers etc etc so what you can do is uh, this particular tool has unlimited quizzes okay unlimited quizzes so these questions are basically from uh, this type of uh, competitive exams what you can do is you can practice unlimited quiz whenever whenever it is possible for you if at all you are preparing for any competitive exams okay so this is one of the feature and you can see the results here so uh, satish ekde is i mean not that great because satish has taken only some 3 4 3 4 assessments that's it i mean grammar quizzes or assessments okay now uh now this is one of the important thing so you all know i i'm sure you know 100% of the students uh they watch youtube is it not i mean you go to youtube for learning or for entertainment so what youtube does is if satish uh, browse say khan academy uh, subjects so it understands okay satish is interested in khan academy so why should not uh, why should not i really throw the content to him of say great learning is it not if i start you know uh, basically this in the back end it's a set of algorithms which analyze the data and makes the platform adaptive i think you know the you know the meaning of adaptive learning it basically you are you take you take uh, flipkart you take amazon you take uh, you take any you know uh, new platforms which are coming up udan for example so they all understand the users user behavior is basically captured and the data can really predict i am repeating the data basically can predict that you know satish is is not that great in in you know punctuation noun and pronouns and adjectives and satish is interested to in these type of content okay so based on what data so whatever i write on the platform whatever the quizzes i take based on that the machine really understands and throw the content for the engineering students this is very 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 important so if at all you know you are working on react native react js or any other i mean marn or mean etc etc so you know you are going to work on these domains i'm talking about domains okay so these are the expectations now i mean these have become minimum expectation of the customers nowadays so all the tech companies they are very keen to understand the data understand the understand uh, you know the behavior of the customers and they would like to predict your next move okay uh that is what you know uh, 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 we also do we understand your your behavior based on behavior in the sense i mean only respect only with respect to english okay we only with respect to learning okay so uh, i think this is uh, the technology is really fantastic okay so now 
let us come to the usability how you can use so this has you know three different uh, foundation intermediate and advanced already kurg in stock technology is using the platform to analyze the written document however i request all the students all the students to use the tool to get your certification as well so here you can see here you know so the idea is you write okay you take some quizzes and you read here okay and even you can listen basically even we have given the listening uh, let me go back so you will get uh, i am go back here i'm going back here yeah you can even listen okay see these are l s w r skills okay l s w r skills okay and then you can go for sentencia certification as well what even we can do is you know i can coordinate with librarian sir and and in the certification you can have a uh logo of kurg in stock technology okay so if you ask me i mean sir how valid is your certification so it is like i mean you might be aware of you know google certification i think uh, you are already doing a lot of coursera uh, certifications so in the same way we are also you know we we have built our content and assessments based on cefr standards okay so what you can do is you can go here and you can click get certified so it will take you to an exam on the exam you have to sit tight for one hour okay and then if you can if you can you know pass the exam then you can download the certificate as well okay you can download the certificate here you can see you can download your certification okay so um, i hope that you know i i definitely look forward that the students of uh, uh, cit pannam pet are going to you know going for a couple of uh, uh, certification so yesterday for example somebody was asking me sir do you really think that you know the udemy certificate or coursera certificate or google certificate or hubspot certificate or hootsuite certificate do you think these steps are important so being the employer being a corporate guy okay being a being a entrepreneur uh, i can say that for freshers yes yes what it can do is that you know uh, let us assume that you know some 10 students are from uh, engineering college kushal nagar and 10 students are from pannampet i am uh, i am interviewing them so if you have certificate uh yeah i mean to some extent i can see that okay uh, the boy or the girl is you know smart uh, they are really interested interested to learn of course i'll give you a test that's a different story i'll give you a test to really test your skills okay i'll i may ask you to code something however while choosing the good candidate what it shows is your certificate shows is that you know okay compared to others these boys are you know they are trying to learn something new so that is where you know might not be for me i mean might not be after you know 10 years or 15 years of experience more of you know skills matters for you skills matters of course matters however the certification can help you to at least you know knock the door of an interview or at least to impress it can add some value give weightage on your cv so you can download and you can add to your cv so you have your login id you have your password so you have time now i mean because of this covid what you can do is you can attend the exam download the certificate and you can attach it to linkedin let me talk i mean i i touch linkedin part probably only for 3 4 3 to 4 minutes uh, in the end you know let us see how you can use use that okay so this is about uh, uh, you know the platform now uh, okay now you have teachers guide as well i mean this is not uh, no, very very uh, important for ponnam pet college okay so here this this whatever i am going to show is basically for the professors and teachers okay now might not be for the students uh, uh, sir the thing is now by using this platform you can conduct online examination 
let us assume that you know you want to conduct a exam on nlp i mean or mechanical engineering or electrical engineering or any topic okay so now what i am doing is so so i am going to you know uh, conduct the exam on nlp okay or whatever the topic you can choose here now what you can do is you can basically create a question bank so by using this platform you can conduct i we completely understand that you know because of this covid students are sitting in their home they are studying there and you know you can conduct online exam you uh, i don't know whether uh, whether your college esteemed college has already uh, uh, any lms learning uh, management system however since you have the access to this platform you can make utilize of it okay now you can what you can do is you can use this platform to conduct the exam now let us assume that you know enc department would like to conduct a test okay online test multiple uh, so it is only for 25 marks so now what you can do is uh you know you can you can choose the topic and you can add uh one minute here it is nlp so you can add a uh, question type you can do true or false yes or no four options or five options or combination of this okay so probably three questions yes or no four questions true or false four options or five options okay uh let me choose uh four options oh sorry let me choose four options okay now i'm i'm just assuming nlp is uh, nlp uh, is is uh, 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 invented by something i mean this is this is not the real question by uh, which university i'm i'm asking very dumb question this is not the question to be asked for engineering students okay i'm just you know i, I say stanford here i say uh, you know vtu i say dhanam sagar university and then i say harvard so harvard is sorry stanford is the right answer you can choose the right answer and you can submit it okay now what you can also do is you can upload a your question bank in bulk okay and you can download a template here there is a template for questions and to mark the correct answers you can see here so you can choose all those you know question types topic name question text etc etc and then you can upload here so now what you have done is you have chosen the topic okay now in this case we have chosen nlp as a topic what we have done is you know for 25 marks question by using this single question feature we have created a question bank of 25 25 questions or or you want to test the students for 50 marks 100 marks okay so what you do is you bulk upload the questions and answers and then you submit now now let us give the exam for the students okay i just want to show the you know utility of the platform i mean if it is useful for you you can use it not for the students i mean this is for the professors and the teachers and here test number whatever i mean test number 3 i i I'll, i'll write test number 3 okay test number 3 here okay select uh, uh, not in sentence here select topics and then you can okay let us make the exam next sorry monday so monday morning okay at uh, at so sorry monday i have to select monday okay yeah so monday morning at 10 o'clock you can set the exam for the students so so what the students can do is you know they can log in they can see they can easily see the uh, i can choose here uh, this is 11 o'clock okay and then yeah 1154 okay so you want to give up to uh, not 1 o'clock okay yeah so you can what you are doing is 
so next monday all the students you know when they log in on the platform you can send them a mail and they can take i mean this is this can be 12 to 12 to 1 am you can do uh 1 pm this has to be 1 pm come on i, I have made a mistake okay this cannot be 1 am this has to be 1 pm okay so uh, in that particular window of opportunity the students they have to take the exam so you have uploaded a uh, uh, you know the question bank of say 300 questions and you want to take randomly take 50 questions so you want to uh, conduct uh, you know exam for only third year uh, students of uh, of computer science so that is the whole idea you can choose the not grade basically semester you can choose and then you can submit so it will go the, the, the students have to attend the exam online test between 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock okay then you know after that it will not allow i mean you can define morning to evening whatever i mean the 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 freedom is left to you and you can see the results as well i mean when they when when they take the test you can see all the details as well so let us look at another uh, so you can also give the writing test in the same way you can give the writing test but for engineering students i'm not i, I don't know i mean uh, uh, how far this is uh, useful uh, but if at all you want to give a writing test an essay or or any written uh, test on any subject you can do that i mean it, it applies the same uh, you can you know fix a date you can fix the time and the students can write might not be very very relevant for uh, engineering students okay now let us go to let us go back so this is uh, mainly for you know professors or chief librarian sir as well as for the principal sir so what you can do is you can you can see you know what is the engagement of your student i mean you need not to really ask uh, uh, you know uh, ask us or you need not to send us a mail asking about you know what is the engagement of CIT, uh, uh, okay, Kurg Institute of Technology, and you can see here, uh, you know, you you can see uh, the computer science wise or uh, first year, second year wise. If at all you have any sections, you know, computer science uh, A section, B section, that also you can have a have a detailed look at. Okay. Now one more thing. so this is one of the important or very interesting uh, uh, feature students i mean you please you know uh, have a look at this feature what we have done is you know we have given a speak and learn so you are aware that you know voice based technologies is really booming i mean if you really talk about uh, these voice chats on on uh, especially corporate websites uh, these are nothing but you know ai based voice technology so which we have also used okay we have built an api uh, uh, for voice to text so this is in the in the progress uh, basically what it does is uh, uh, it is it is like your uh, alexa or your google so what it does is basically it convert the voice to text so there are there are huge opportunities in this particular field and this is really really picking up i mean if you really see the us market a uh, lot of uh, uh, you know improvements or a lot of innovation is happening in this particular field so you can see here so what it did is that you know uh, whatever i am talking that it is converting into text okay so this is one of the useful technology yeah i mean uh, google is using it or or you know you are you are mobile in in your mobile you are definitely using it and this is the, the technology is really booming in various context see for example we are working with couple of corporate sector uh, clients so especially in kpos and bpos what happens is the the 
callers or the employees they have to speak with the clients so they have to practice so if they come from say rural area i mean if they are like satish hegde uh, you know studied in kannada medium so they may have to practice the pronunciation okay they have to practice the pronunciation so if you really see the market uh, you don't have any technology great technology which can really convert the voice to text okay uh, not only i mean it can convert but the further analysis the analysis part is is not there so there is a huge opportunity uh, especially in the context of uh, school education especially in the context of uh, corporate world you have wonderful opportunities which is which is really coming up so we are also doing lot of r and d here and uh, and you know uh, very soon you can see uh, uh, features which will help you to practice your pronunciation okay so and uh, uh, for the for chief librarian sir as well as for the professors sir you can even upload multiple files however you cannot you cannot make the corrections okay so for example 100 students have submitted their uh, you know project reports what you can do is you can upload the multiple files and you can download download the uh, error reports you can download or even quality index you can download okay so yeah i think i took a lot of time uh, with this uh, i would like to end my uh, session today so before that before that uh, you know i was speaking with uh, librarian sir regarding uh, you know another session on linkedin building which is very important i just would like to take 3 to 5 minutes not more than that okay i'm 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 sharing my linkedin profile here okay now let us let us ask the final year students uh, that you know definitely many of many of the students will come to corporate world uh, i i i could see that you know your college has more than some 45 50 companies which are coming for campus uh, recruitment uh, so uh, uh, definitely you know the students would like to join different big companies uh, automobile companies or uh, software companies so how do you really attract them so i i am i think you know many of the students are already aware of this about the professional uh, you know the networking site i i am sure that you know 99% of the students are already there let us ask the question why this is important so this is my profile you can see here this is satish's profile is it not let me look at my profile and then really understand why this is important and how you can do it let us assume sorry let us you know have a detailed session and a and a discussion interactive discussion uh okay just give me a second so this is my profile okay now what is happening is people are looking at my profile is it not let us assume that you know uh, enc students has started building his profile and started uh, sharing the content the relevant content i mean enc student he would like to join say amazon and he is really good in python so python related you know content and activities he is he has started sharing i mean so now let us see who are all looking at my profile so michael page okay so i for the last uh this is uh, 6 to 29 to 6 months 7 days right in a week in a week so 234 people have searched my profile so who are searching let us see michael page it is one of the staffing and recruitment company so that means you know somebody would like to give me a job is it not so so who are these i mean these they are basically into recruitment and they would like to you know they are exploring uh you know whether they can offer me some job or you know whether they can uh utilize my services so let us assume that you know students of cit they have built their profile and executive directors and the founders okay here you can see and the founders started looking at your profile and the question is why do they do it because they are looking for the answers for their problems so what are their problems basically they would they would be searching for a, a python guy 
they would be searching for a mern stack or they would be searching for a mechanical engineer is it not so uh, probably in the next session uh, after you know uh, by taking uh, the due permission from principal sir as well as from the management if at all the students wants if at all students think that you know this can add value let us have a detailed a uh, discussion on how we can really build proper profiles okay i can share you the detailed you know uh, see if you really see i just would like to show one thing so today morning you know i have written something here let me show just so okay so so you can see here 1022 i mean the, the number is huge in the sense you know so many people are looking at it here you can see so almost 22000 sorry 21000 people are looking at whatever i am writing so this is this is the the strategy to enter into good companies enter uh, and build your you know great career and to really attract the companies as well as you know uh, uh, the staffing agencies or the recruiters okay so i think session on that uh, after taking the due permission so with this you know i would like to stop here and uh, oh not bad 65 participants are still there great that's really great and if at all you have any questions please ask me hello sir hello any queries from participants okay shall we go ahead sir yeah so uh, uh, no questions from the students i mean uh, students whether you would like to uh, you know uh, have interaction or you would like to ask something might not be related to sentencia might be about your you know about your career or might be about industry yeah i mean if you don't have any questions definitely we can uh, wrap up ma'am no problem okay sir okay Uh, yeah. student uh, participants if you have any queries uh, mail uh, just drop a mail to the resource person yeah and so uh, yeah, i'm going to share my mail id as well okay, okay. i'm just typing here so so if at all you know the final year students uh, uh, basically if at all you are looking for the jobs we will be posting many openings on our uh, you know linkedin uh, uh, page uh, that also you can follow or keep visiting so yeah that might be useful for you so what i want is you know this whatever i talk or uh, the webinar should be helpful for the students at the end of the day so yeah thank you ma'am yeah yeah well sir thank you very much for the interesting and informative session today that was highly yeah. enriching i now request mr kumar ji and librarian to express gratitude to everyone thank you madam i take this opportunity to express my sincere gratitude to the esteemed management for creating this wonderful platform respected principal dr basavaraj m for his guidance eminent resource person mr satish agre for sharing his wisdom my sincere thanks to all the hods staff of cit and cipc i also thank all the participants who made it today thank you thank you one and all thank you sir thank, thank you very much uh, profound thanks to mr kumar ji and librarian cit for organizing this wonderful webinar Thank you one and all it's Kavishri signing off thank you sir yeah have a great day